guys, we're out here herping in the woods and we just made this little hut out of sticks. And we came across two yellow eyed entertainers. Very cool. It still has the yellow speckling. The second one is heading off right here. And it has the yellow eye. And they're just new mimics. So that means then they're mimicking the poisonous California newt with that orange, very bright underbelly. Right here. There we go. Oh, cool. Yay, we found an Anzapina. It's coming to Slender salamander. Okay, and just under this little thing, we flip two arboreal salamanders. Little juvenile ones with white speckling. Okay, we are here in the forest and uh, herping. Okay. There is a slender salamander. California. Slender salamander. Under this log. Okay, let's put it back. Right under here is an alligator lizard, hibernating. Very cool. Let's see if we can get it up close. Alligator lizard. Look at that. This one is not too big, but it's pretty cool. And we found him under a board. Yeah, yeah, found him hibernating in winter. We'll just put him back so we don't disturb him too much. This is a southern alligator lizard. There are two types, the northern and southern. The best way to tell the difference is that the northern is a little bit more duller, um, it's not as colorful, and has a brownish coloration around its eye. And this one, the southern, is a little bit more colorful um, and has a yellowish coloration around its eye. It has some reddish, black, white, and also it can sometimes have a bluish coloration on its back. And the northern just has a um, normally kind of a black and white coloration and the cool thing about these lizards is that they have a prehensile tail and they can um, drop their tail and it'll regrow but not to the same length and these southern alligator lizards are found throughout California whereas the northern um, alligator lizard are only found in northern California and this one is a full-grown adult uh, it can probably get bigger but this is a really good size and under the board that we flipped there were also some hatched alligator lizard eggs. And yeah, that's really, um, those are the really cool things about this creature. Also, surprisingly, this one did not musk or bite on us. Normally, these tend to be a little bit more aggressive, so they can bite or um, musk on you if you do handle them. But this one luckily didn't. It was opening its mouth at the camera, so it was like another defense mechanism. But this one was a neat find and a cool lizard. Okay, slender salamander under this log. Come on, this log. Cool. Let's flip the log back, but you don't want to squish it. So actually what you want to do is you want to take it and then put the log down and then since, and put it back and let it crawl back because these little small salamanders and this such a big log, you don't want to squish, squish it. it. Okay, cool. Okay, this is an arboreal salamander. It's a big adult because of the yellow speckling and the powerful jaw muscles. Like those are, a, that's a big triangular head. Now this can probably draw blood if it bites me, but I don't think so. And it's really big, it's like as big as my hand, right? Like, it's like as big as my hand.
So this is a Syrian tree frog, also known as the Syrian chorus frog, and they look really similar to the Pacific tree frog and the Baja California tree frog. The Pacific tree frog is found all over California, the northwest part of the U.S., and the west part of Canada, whereas the Baja California tree frog is found in only Southern California, and th um, the Syrian tree frog is found in the middle part of California and is named after the Nevada mountains, which is really cool. And this has a really cool eye color. It's like golden, which is um, pretty neat. And also, um, these are actually not an arboreal species of frog. They don't stay um, in the trees. They mostly stay close to the ground under logs, like we found this one. And in the water, we found this one hibernating. So it was under lock and what one thing that i noticed that was really weird and cool at the same time was that when we first flipped it it was really dark brown but then the immediately when it jumped out of the log it became the super light color that you see right here and i don't know why i know that they can change color over months days or hours but after a long time but this one did it immediately so if you know please let me know These are two more Ancetinas that we found, a baby one and an adult one. Oh wow, never saw any salamander this small, so uh, cool. Okay, cool, let's put it back under its rock. <laughs> 